All right. Good morning, everyone. For the first edition of our pronouns, we're going to start with personal. Basically, you've already heard the basics of what a pronoun itself is. So, this question, what is a pronoun? You should already know. We've talked about this before, but let's get a quick review. Basic definition. A pronoun is a word that replaces and then refers to a noun, which we call then the antecedent. So the noun that our pronoun replaces is our antecedent. That will be important later when we do subject, or sorry, pronoun, antecedent, agreement. We gotta make sure they match up. We'll get that in a second. There are two types of personal pronouns we're going to be talking about. Today, we're only gonna focus on one, but those two are, number one, subject or nominative pronouns, and we've also got object case pronouns, which again, we'll get to in the next video. Don't worry about it just yet. But to start with, subject case pronouns, just like they sound, they are the subject of a sentence. Or, you know, it's a big or, they can follow a linking verb. Right now, we're just going to focus on your standard, basic, subject case pronoun that is, in fact, the subject of a sentence. So, give me a second to reset, and we'll keep rolling. Boom, and through technological magic, we're ready to go again. Okay. So before we can get into how we actually use these pronouns or what they look like in a sentence, we need to know what pronouns we look for. And honestly, if you can memorize these or keep them in your notes, you have a cheat sheet, put them on a note card that you always carry around with you for the rest of your life, it will make things so much easier. So again, subject case pronoun, our focus today is that they are pronouns used as the subject of a sentence. Again, big focus today. We'll look at the other, other use later. For now though, if we have our three points of view when using these. And you know this from reading literature that the narrator can use different perspectives from point of view. So our first person pronoun for, for subject case in the singular is I. I'm sure you guys use that all the time. For plural, when you talk about yourself and someone else, again, as a subject, we also makes sense, I'm sure. Second person, it's when you're talking directly to someone, saying like, you do this, you, it is both singular and plural you. So if you're talking to a full, if, like for example, if I'm talking to you all, that's second person, that's subject case, like you need to do this. You need to have your Chromebooks charged. I'm talking about all of you. But if I'm addressing, or addressing one student, I can say, you did a great job. Of course, I'm sure you all will, but that's just the example for here. Then we get to third person, we're talking about others outside, not designated specifically. We have first person, or sorry, not first person, third person, singular, meaning one, he, she, it. Obviously, masculine, feminine, neuter, having no gender designated. And then when we get to the plural aspect, we lump it all together. Gender aspect does not count here. And again, we'll look at that more with pronoun antecedent agreement. We have they. So, give you just a moment, jot these down in your notes, as I've already pointed out in the Ed Puzzle video, uh, questions for other notes. So, here we'll go again. Pat! Back for some examples to try. This is going to be the, the I do section of, of this process. So today, I've got three examples for you. All we're going to do, for me, I'm going to circle the subject pronoun in each sentence. When I give you a chance to practice just in a moment in this video, you'll just have to type it into the, the uh, text box. All right, so let's look. Number one, I am trying a new way of teaching. I mean, the way the sentence, sorry guys. So I look through. Since I had that cheat sheet, that, that chart memorized, I know exactly what my subject case pronoun is. However, if you ever get stuck, look to see what the subject of the sentence is. Who or what is the sentence talking about? See, we can review some more with you guys. So for me, I know subject pronoun, I, right there. Okay. In the second sentence, they will hopefully enjoy it. Again, I know the chart. I know the subject, the focus of the sentence is who I'm talking about is they. So, so far so good, right? This third one, I switched up a little bit, see if you can catch it. Third one, Mr. Fisher is weird, but he is still cool, right? Okay. So, Mr. Fisher is weird, but he's still cool. If I think about just the subject of the sentence, I know that it's Mr. Fisher. However, that is not a pronoun. That is a specifically named person. So, that's not what I'm looking for. Actually, that's my antecedent in the sentence. 
tricked you up. I gave you a compound sentence. So we have two subjects, meaning one is a noun, our antecedent, and then there we go, he is our subject case pronoun that we needed to complete this activity. All right, get ready for you to try. All right, back again. This time it's time for you to practice. I don't know why I said time twice or did the finger points, but let's scroll. So number one, we will do well on this practice. Again, you're identifying the subject case pronoun. Number two, you are a fun teacher, Mr. Fisher. Thanks, guys. And three, Mr. Fisher gave us a tough one. I did. All right. And the video will actually pause. And now let's check the answers. In number one, we will do well in this practice, which, of course, you will. We is your subject case pronoun. Two, you are a fun teacher, Mr. Fisher. You is our subject case. Boom. And three, Mr. Fisher gave us a tough one. Does not have a subject case pronoun. So if you said there isn't one, props. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you for, for going through, checking it, being diligent, and surviving my trick question. So that is your kind of basic introduction to subject case personal pronouns. We will also go into the predicate aspect of them as well, which means they follow a linking verb next time, and we'll get into object case pronouns. See ya.